Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are recording our lecture for the mega project of Power BI. So let us first download our data set. So thanks to Linda and my online training hub.com for providing the data set of a global IT company. So I am opening Power BI data sets and downloading the file. You have to follow each step. This is a long video and the project would be mega. So you would have the proper understanding of each and everything. So I am going to this and you can download it anywhere. I am extracting it to my E drive and the E drive I am making a new folder named as Power BI Learning. And in this folder I am extracting all of my files. After extracting all of the files, I am opening the folder. Basically, this consists of a 12 months data. Let me show you. And this 12 months data is of the actual budget and the forecasted budget. So, I am going inside the Power BI Learning Mega Project. This is the budget folder. This is in the form of CSV file. We have Excel file in the form of dimension tables. This consists of cost element and the country and the IT department and we have actual data of six to seven months as well so let me load them one by one in Power BI let us first click on the Excel workbooks get data in Excel workbook we have the Excel workbook as dimension tables so it is loading so in the dimension ta <coughs> tables Excel sheet we have the cost element, departments and the regions. I don't need to transform or clean the data. The data is already clean and filled so I will click on load button. So it is loading. After loading the XLX or the Excel file, I will uh, move towards loading the CSV file you can see on the extreme right there are all the excel sheets uh, loaded now I am clicking on get data and loading the CSV file in the CSV file the first is the budget so I am loading the budget CSV first so it is already in uh, transform form so I don't need to transform or clean it I will directly click on load data So the budget part is already loaded. Now I am clicking on get data and clicking on uh, text CSV. Now I will uh, load this forecast file. And after loading this forecast file, I have the fo uh, click on o o load and I have the folder name as actual in which uh, the seven months data is already present in the form of CSV files. So I have to load all the CSV file once uh, in a folder of actual. So loading it one by one will take a lot of time. So let me tell you how we can load it once. So I am again, uh, you can see on the extreme right the budget forecast and all the things are loaded. I will go to the get data option and in the get data option I will click on more. Uh, it will open a pop-up in a few seconds you can see here is a name uh, here is a fifth element named as folder I will click on connect and it will ask me for the folder path of actuals so I will go to my data set uh, I have downloaded it in e drive and here is power bi learning power bi data sets power bi machine learning mega project I will click on this actuals folder and copy the path by pressing ctrl C and I am again moving here and I will press ctrl V and then click OK so it will load the data set automatically and I want to transform it I want to clean some of the things so I will click on the combine drop down menu and click on combine and transform data so I will click on OK. Uh, it is also telling me the sample file so how you want all the files to look like so it should be like first file. Now I will click on OK and when I click on OK 
uh, it will open a new power query tool so power query allows me to edit the things uh, in the combined file so you can see uh, in the first column uh, in the power query editor in the first column there is a source name of all the file this column so I don't want the all file names to appear in each entry so I will press delete button to remove it so when I press delete button it is already deleted now I will click on close and apply so actuals column is also loaded and you can see on the extreme right you can see the actuals column here actuals is also loaded now we will move towards the modeling part in the modeling part I will collapse this properties tab and zoom out a little bit after zooming out I will move these three boxes the box of budget the box of forecast and the box of actuals down and after moving it down I have to tell you about the connections so you can see these blocks are basically the excel file and I will if I move the mouse pointer towards this line it will show the connections between regions file and the actual file the country uh, column is same in both of them similarly if I move it here so you can see the connections here so I want to make some new connection you can see in the departments file there is IT department the spelling of department is complete D E P A R T M E N T but here uh, the spelling of department is D E P dot so there is no connection between forecast tab and departments tab to make the connection between these two department I will drag it and place it here above IT department and after dragging and dropping you can see the here is a connection between two IT departments so most of the time there is a problem that there is a change in column name and due to the change in column name the uh, the modeling tables uh, depict wrong connections okay so here is the IT department written again I will drag it and drop it here and after waiting a little bit of time you can see there is another connection maintained so IT department IT department you can see the date and the, co uh, the cost element and the cost element the IT department and the IT department the country and the country so all the connections are perfect now let us move towards this data tab and in this data type I want to create a new table so I will create click on new table and in this new table it is for the first time I am making my own modeling block so I am writing here calendar and in this calendar I will use the command calendar auto and it will automatically take the dates from January 2020 to December 2020 because my data consists of only 2020 dates so I will be pressing enter and when I press enter it has generated the column and I want to see this column this generated column with the date and time from January to December in the modeling step so I am here in the modeling time you can see when I generated through command there is another block so I am placing this block down here and I will make the connections of my block with all of these uh, three down blocks with the date column so I will drag this date and place it here so the new connection will be maintained yes and I will take this date and drop it here so there is another connection maintained and uh, I will take this date and drop it here so there is another connection maintained so the modeling block is now completed now there are three dates available you can see and this date uh, this modeling block is prepared by ourselves using the date of the fiscal year from January to 2012 now I will move towards this uh, data tab again and in this data tab I will go towards actuals column and in the actuals column I have opened the actuals column but I can see in the date tab all the dates are of January but I have the dates of January to December there must be a problem in the date formatting basically in the CSV file the dates are in the format of D M Y but here it is in the format uh, it is in the wrong format so uh, basically uh, this power bi is taking format in a different way so I have to correct it so in order to correct it I have to do some of the things so I will right click on it 
एंड आई विल क्लिक ऑन एडिट क्यूरी एंड इफ वी क्लिक ऑन द एडिट क्यूरी इट विल ओपन अ एडिट पावर क्यूरी एडिटर सो आई हैव सिलेक्टेड द डेट कॉलम एंड आई विल क्लिक ऑन दिस चेंज टाइप क्रॉस बटन वेन आई क्लिक ऑन चेंज टाइप क्रॉस बटन इट विल आस्क मी फॉर द डिलीट ऑप्शन आई विल क्लिक ऑन डिलीट एंड आफ्टर सेलेक्टिंग दिस आई विल राइट क्लिक ऑन इट एंड आफ्टर राइट क्लिकिंग ऑन इट आई विल मोट गूव टूवर्ड्स द चेंज टाइप एंड इन द चेंज टाइप आई विल गो टूवर्ड्स यूजिंग लोकेले एंड इन द यूजिंग लोकेले ऑप्शन इट विल ओपन मी अ न्यू ड्रॉप डाउन बॉक्स सो आई विल चेंज द डेटा टाइप फ्रॉम टेक्स टू डेट एंड दिस डेटा इज ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया सो आई विल चेक द इंग्लिश from united states to english australia here it is and now i will click on the okay button now i can see uh, it has uh, been changed now i will click on close and apply and after clicking on close and apply uh, it will perform the changes and now i will see the dates uh here it is written january and uh, if i move towards you can see february june and all the seven months the actual consist of seven excel files uh, all the seven months but when i transform the date you can see the actual columns has missed a sigma here so we have to tell that that you can see budget has sigma here forecast has sigma here so sigma means the value that can be added so but uh the actual column has missed the sigma so what we have to do we have to select the actual column and in the data type we have to call it a whole number okay and we will click okay so it can change into a whole number and now you can see the sum summarization can becomes to sum so it is now uh, the sigma number now i will click on this column and add a comma separator as well so it is fine the comma separator is also added now i will click on the country column it is data category in uncategorized uh, there are two option county and country so i will arrange it categorize it by means of country so the work of actuals is now completed now i will move towards the budget column i will click on this budget column and i see here it, uh, here are all the dates written for germany so there is also a problem in date formatting so i will right click on it and i will again go to edit query so edit power query tool is opening and in the power query tool i will click on this cross button after selecting the date column change type so it is change now i what i will do i will right click on it and i will go towards the change type option and in the change type option i will go using locale it will open a drop down box say it is the same process we have done for the actual step so we will do it for all so in the data type i will select date and english united states i have to select english of australia okay so the english of australia is selected now i will click on okay after clicking on okay okay i will click on close and apply okay so it is changing for budget now i think uh, it has changed for budget as well uh, you can see now we have another months after january as well so but you can see the budget has missed the sigma again so i will click on the budget column and the data type should be changed to whole number and you can see uh, we will click on okay and the summarization should be should become sum automatically okay and now i will select this and add a comma separator in it as well and for this budget column i will also go towards the country and in the country option i will do it as country categorized it as country so the work of uh, budget column has been completed now i will move towards the next column so collapsing the budget one and now i am moving towards the forecast 
so I am clicking on forecast and in the forecast column you can also see there are all dates of January due to the wrong formatting so I will click on it and I will go to edit query option it will open a power query editor or DAX board and in the power query editor I will select the date column and again select this red cross and after clicking this red cross I will right click on it and I will go towards change type and in the change type I will select using locale and after selecting using uh, locale it will op open uh, pop up and in this pop up I will select date and the English should be selected as the English of Australia as our data set belongs to Australia so we will click on OK and it is already transformed now I will click on close and apply okay so it is applied and uh, it is applying now I will go towards the forecast column and you can see the forecast have missed the Sigma so I will uh, change the data type of text to whole number and I will click in OK and after clicking OK I will select the comma separator data type, comma separator as well so you can see uh, the sigma already appeared in front of the forecast so it is converted into whole number as well and in this tab I have to go to the country as well and in the country I will categorize it as country the uncategorized column of country is categorized into country so all the columns are now formatted now I will lastly I will go towards the region in the region I will select the country and in this country option I will select the column and make it categorized as country so it it has been categorized so I have changed the actuals column the forecast column the budget the region added the comma separator do the country as categorized and change the date formatting and also added a comma separator in all now it's time to move towards the report section now I am in the report section the first uh, type of work the first visual I am going to make is by using AI so I am using insert and insert I am using in the question answer I am going in the question answer section I am making it large so you can see it and I will write actuals here I can write actuals versus budget because the name of the file is actual and I am writing versus gauge gauge is the type of chart ok so let me write the correct spelling uh, now I am selecting it and you can see it has already made the chart for myself by analyzing the excel file so I will click this small option which is commit so now it is committed and it is uh, in front of you now we can edit this visual format this visual I will click on format visual and in the general I will find the title and in the title I can increase the size of the title as well and make it bold so it can look uh, beautiful ok so the first visual is made already made with the help of AI and I want it to be in center ok so the title is already in center now the next visual we are going to make but before uh, making the next visual I want to change the title as well of this visual so I will click on format visual and in the general I will find the title and in the title I want to write actual YTD versus fiscal year budget so it is uh, looking good ok so it has changed now I will uh, move towards the another visual which is KPI it is here KPI means key performance indicator and in the KPI in the trend axis I will take this date date option so I will click on it so the date is here and in the indicator I will go for forecast so in the forecast option I will click this forecast drag it and drop it in the indicator field and in the target goals I want the budget so I am opening the budget and placing it down so you can see it is already here and we can format the visual or format the title uh, 
so I'm going to general opening it and making the heading a little bit large so you can see it properly and in the general option in the visual option I can see the trend axis and in the trend axis you can see high is good I can say low is good and I can change the color type according to my uh, understanding and you can see it is the December uh, budget showing at the front and the chart behind is basically the air variance so you know about the concept of variance as and standard deviation now I am moving towards this visual line chart always remember before moving to any chart you have to click on the screen first and this is the line chart so I am clicking here uh, increasing the size of this line chart and in this line chart I will first uh, collapse these things and select this date option okay in the date option there is air quarter month day I don't want the day level information so I am closing the day one and in this I uh, will select the three values so first of all I am selecting this select uh, actual and then I am selecting budget to be represented then at last I am selecting uh, forecast so all these things should be represented in this chart so it is uh, showing me uh, the readings here so I will drill it down to see the readings in the form of line or in the form of month data so I will click it first time and I think it is fine and we can see the readings uh, uh, by month so this is the line chart in front of you so I, if I do it again you can see uh, it more clearly it is the drill down option so let us move towards another chart we can increase or decrease the size according to our requirement I think it is a little bit large so I can decrease the size because I have to uh, show you a lot of widgets on this screen so it is customizable we can change it according to our requirement okay and we can see the readings now the next thing uh, is to returning total running total so I want uh, the power pivot formula language called DEX there is a power pivot formula language in uh, power bi called DEX and I will calculate uh, the running totals for the budget running totals for the actuals and the running total for the forecast so first of all I will start working from here I will uh, click on the outside and I will collapse all of them so it looks neat and clean now the first thing I will click on actuals and in the actuals you can see the three dots so I will click on the three dots and I will select new major okay when I select new major it will open a bar for me and when I click on the new major I will write a long formula and I am going to calculate the running total so I will write here actual space RT and in the space RT I will write uh, the some formulas and things so I have written calculate and in the calculate I will written I will write some so uh, kindly note down it and we will use it for uh, the budget and forecast as well but in the budget and forecast uh, we have to just have to make a very few changes so I am writing uh, some actuals and in the actual step I am closing the bracket and after closing the bracket I am writing filter so here it is the filter option available and in the filter I will write all selected and in the all selected option I will write calendar and the calendar with the date and after writing calendar with the date closing the bracket and I will write is on it is also the function is on or after and after writing is on or after I will again call uh, my calendar with the date this is the calendar we have generated in the model by ourselves and now I will get the max values of the actuals because I am going to calculate the running total and I will add uh, in the max actuals date so I will write AC actuals date and after actuals date I will close the bracket and then add a comma and I want them in descending order so I will click uh, I will mark the bracket remaining the first one the second one 
and the third one so all of them are completed now at the end I will click on this tick mark so it will get added and it is showing working on it and you can see uh, the actual RT has been added it has uh, completed without any error now you can see here is actual RT so I will do it uh, for others as well so uh, same for the budget and same for other things okay so let me do it for budget and other things but first I will click on it and after clicking on it I will copy it in the notepad so I don't have to write it again and again okay so I am opening a notepad here and I will show you what has uh, what the what are the things that needs to be changed okay so I have pasted it in notepad and let me zoom out the view so you can see all the things in one line so it is the actual RT so I will calculate the RT for all of them so I will do for uh, budget and I will do for forecast so let me uh, make it easy for you so I will uh, copy this line control C and I will do it here for forecast RT and the budget RT so let me uh, do write for budget and the same I have to write for forecast okay so it's very easy forecast forecast RT so we will add new major just we have added for all of the things so first of all before adding uh, we have to change the things in these line as well so in the actuals or actual where it is written I have to change it to budget so I am changing all of them so you can see it clearly and we will do the changes in front of you now we will make a little bit of changes in the budget IT where it is uh, written uh, actuals we will change it to budget and here we will change it to budget as well and all the remaining things will remain same okay so the budget uh, change is done and in this again I will change it uh, actuals to forecast and here I will also do the same forecast make sure to write the correct spelling as uh, the spellings in the data and here we will also write forecast so you can see all of these are changed and actual RT is already produced so I will copy this uh, budget RT now okay so you can see actual RT has a calculator means these are explicit value and explicit value means the value which have uh, I have added by using my formulas by using my understanding now I will go towards the budget option and in the three dots of the budget option I will also click the new major and it will again show me the dialog box to write the formula so I will uh, control paste uh, control V the formula I have just written and now I will press on this tick mark uh, and it will give me another calculator so you can see the budget RT now I will go towards the forecast option and click on these three dots and again I will select the new major and after selecting the new major uh, it will show me uh, another dialog box and in this dialog box I will go here and copy the forecast RT so these uh, three commands are also written uh, in the link of the description of the video so you don't have to do a lot of effort now I will click on this uh, right button and wait and I am hopeful that it will produce another calculator known as forecast RT so all of these calculators are created now I can click on actuals there is actuals RT now I can budget RT now I can see uh, forecast RT as well so a calculator means these are explicitly calculated values now I am clicking here and after that I want to visualize array chart cluster chart column chart here is the stacked area chart so let us use the stack area chart I have placed it here we can use any chart we want and first of all I will uh, select all RTs the first one is the actual RT the second one is the budget RT and the third one is the 
फोर का स्टार्टी एंड आई वॉन्ट द डेट टू बी विद इट सो आई एम गोइंग टू द कैलेंडर एंड आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑन द डेट ऑप्शन सो यू कैन सी इट हैज प्लेसड ऑल द थ्री पॉइंट एंड जस्ट लाइक द अब वन I want it to be the same size, and after doing it same size, I will drill it down to see the information. So I am making the size adjustable, and I will click on it uh, to drill it down, and I will click on uh, one more, so you can see the hierarchy. So this is uh, the actual running total chart of all of the things calculated. now we will move towards the format option and in the format option i want the x axis title uh, to get off okay so it looks uh, beautiful and tidy and i will go to the y axis option and in the y axis option i want to the title to get off and of this filter so you can see it more clearly let me reduce the size of this chart so we can add more thing uh, in it so you can change the things according to your requirement but i want to add many many visuals in this chart so i don't want it to be messy now after adding this i want to uh, make another visualization another uh, new major so i am going to the budget option and clicking on this three dots now i am going towards new quick major this time i will uh, write a new quick major with the help of power bi so i want the visualization for budget versus forecast so i want uh, the subtraction so here i will see uh, many many options so i will click on subtraction what should be the base value so in the base value i want to select budget and in the value to subtract i want forecast so there should be a clear difference between budget and forecast so i am placing it here and pressing okay so it will made a new uh, dialog box with uh, in front of me with a formula available so here it is written budget minus forecast so i will change it uh, power bi i have written this formula for myself so i will change it budget versus forecast and i think uh, it is uh, good so i have added uh, the value of budget and forecast i have changed to v and i will click on this right box so it will also generate uh, another entry budget versus forecast so it is has been created and i will uh, add it in the visualization as well so i want to create another entry in value i have to create explicitly is budget versus forecast difference so i will go here again and i will select new quick major and this time i will uh, calculate the percentage difference so i will go here click on the percentage difference the base value should be forecast and uh, the value to compare should be the budget so there is a change in uh, sequence so i will click on okay it will give me a formula i have to uh, change the name of the formula and then to make a clustered column line chart so it has written so i will write here budget versus remove the big names forecast and i will write here difference and i will write i am click on the uh, this column button now uh, the two calculators are created budget versus forecast and the budget versus forecast percentage difference now after creating it i will click here and i will go towards cluster column line chart so i have clicked on here and i will click on the date in the calendar but i don't want year quarter month so i will click on this drop down and click only the date so in the date i, I don't want all the hierarchies so i will select all of the two so first of all in the column series i will select budget versus forecast in the column values and in the line values here i will drag and drop budget versus forecast percentage difference so you can see uh, they are all in front of you uh, but for the line uh, you can change the color as well so i will go to the line and data labels you can see but first of all i want to close the title so it is uh, grabbing a lot of space so i will 
of the title and I can place it here increase the size so the visuals will become clear and in the format in the x-axis in the y-axis secondary x-axis of the legend is also here the markers we don't need the markers in the lines option there are colors available and in the colors I want it uh, to be red you can see uh, it is showing the red color so we can see it or visualize it properly so the size is reduced now after making the chart for uh, clustered column line chart for budget versus forecast and budget versus forecast percentage difference now I am going to make another chart that is the clustered column chart so here is the clustered bar chart here is the clustered column chart so we will uh, move towards the custom color chart and in the axis we will place the region so let us collapse all of the things uh, by clicking here uh, let us collapse all of the things so it will uh, look neat and clean and in the regions chart I am going and I have to select in the axis value I have to dra dra drag and drop the regions okay and in the values I have to write budget versus forecast difference so in the values option I will open here here is budget versus forecast difference and I will place it in the values and in the figure uh, you can see in there is a three dots option available so I will click on these three dots and I want them uh, to be sorted in ascending order ok so sort axis and I will click on sort ascending so it will sort it in an ascending order so this is uh, basically the clustered column chart uh, we have just plotted and after that uh, we will uh, do some changings we will go towards uh, the general and the title should be off or the title should be on or I will go towards the x-axis and in the x-axis the title of x-axis should be off it is off so I will go in the y-axis and the y-axis the title should be off as well so it uh, will be give the proper space to do some working by keeping the title off and I am closing all of these and in the data labels I want the data labels to be on so I can see the data labels uh, above each graph so based on feel uh, so I want uh, to do some conditional formatting so here is the data labels and here are all the things let us uh, collapse them so we can see all of the things clearly yes so here is the x-axis there is the grid line there is a column there is the data labels and in the data labels there are different options this is horizontal we can do it vertical as well or we can use it horizontal whatever you want you can uh, change the background according to your will so I am going to collapse them and moving towards the general and in the general you can find a lot of properties like position advanced options and a lot of things uh, we, which you can change according to your will so I am uh, maintaining uh, the title in the mid so I can see it clearly and in the visual option uh, this is the chart selected I can do it as in this form as well or in this form as well so it's all upon ourselves uh, what is the form we are going to select but I think uh, this form is uh, better which we have selected this is the clustered column chart now I want to do some uh, formatting on it so this is looking beautiful but I have the option to change it as well uh, let me do some uh, changes like clustered bar chart so I can see here is the cluster uh, bar chart like look and I have made a lot of changing in this as well so let me go towards the format option again 
and in the format option uh, I have already sort them in the ascending order okay so let me see some more formatting options in this I have opened the data labels I am searching for data colors in it okay so expand all categories so we can see it uh, clear so here is title here are effects here are borders here are header icons visual warning and drill up drill down options you can see the data and in the visual I want to also expand all the categories so here is the x-axis here is the values the title yes here is the colors and in the colors I want to the do some conditional formatting so format style is gradient but I want to format it by rules okay and what should field is based on so it should be based on budget versus forecast percentage so this should be the rule so I am writing if value is greater than or equals to zero or and less than the zero number zero percent and the less than the zero number then it should be orange let me select the orange color here so I am doing some conditional formatting okay and I want to add another rule as well if value is greater than or equals to zero and there should be number and less than 100 I will write 100 and I will add the percent here so it should be of gray color so this is called uh, some conditional formatting I have made in it and after conditional formatting I will move I will click on OK and you can see the conditional formatting uh, applied so you can see uh, here it is uh, showing the conditional formatting and the colors are changed a little bit let me uh, move make it a little bit larger so you can see all the labels and if it is greater than percentage it is showing uh, another value if it is lesser than percentage it is showing another value okay so this is uh, a kind of beautiful visual let me select it and move it a little bit up and make the size equal to it and I will place it here and put this visual and place it here basically I want all of them to be on correct locations okay so let me place it here so now uh, they are looking good and now I will copy this I am control C copying it and coming here control V and taking it here below it and now instead of region I will close the regions part and add the cost element drag and drop the cost element in the axis field so you can see uh, here are the cost element I will move up and down and see the changing values so I will copy it again and place it here and there is another visual and in this uh, visual I have uh, instead of region I will again remove the region and I will use IT area so go towards uh, collapsing this in the budget collapsing uh, this in the cost element in the departments I will go towards IT area and select IT area so in the axis there is IT area so you can see another visual as well now I will uh, go towards another visual which is the slicer it is also very important to understand and it is very common so let me see for slicer here A small narrative where is the slicer stack bar chart line chart these are all charts these are funnel map field map card multi raw kpi key influencer python visual r script matrix table here is the slicer so i will click on the slicer the slicer in front of us and we will 
select region in the slicer okay so it is uh, drawing is showing the region in a different way so i will change it to drop down menu so after selecting drop down uh, the visual is changed and it is taking a very less amount of uh, space so i will select any of the region by just clicking on it okay and all the values got changed so this is uh, better so the slicer is also here and now we will uh, go towards uh, the card as the new major uh, so let me go towards card and here is the card i think so i will take this card and place it here and i will create a new major for the card first and click on new major and we will write y t y t d month it is the one month and i will write format and in the format i will write uh, max in the actual state actual date close the bracket sorry actual date it's not should not should be country actual state closing the bracket comma and i will write m m m and y y y that is the format and we will conc concatenate it with y t d variable so in the y t d you have to give a gap otherwise it will be in the same line so i will click on this and it will generate a ytd uh, month as well and now i will click the card and select it so it will be placed inside our card so it is formatted and in the ytd month i don't understand why it is written 2018 uh, to 3 as well so if i change it to here so all the things should be changed 2001 22 2018 2061 i think this card is not uh, properly formatted click on here click on here click on here so it is basically a uh, visual which is working in real time so i can click on any of one and change the formatting uh, maybe there is a mistake while writing a formula it should be 2018 16 or 17 the three should not be added so it is showing a wrong thing which is 2018 and three so let me click on uh, this ytd month again and in the y i have to add one y as well so now i will check it will uh, do some proper functioning click on the right track button and now i think it has been changed so for the air we have to write four digits so now it is perfect and now all the visuals are in front of you uh, you can move it and change it it's see the change in real time so it is very interactive and you can see the dates you can see the month you can see the forecast by budget and everything okay so this is basically a totally uh, <coughs> interactive visual you can see the changing line by line you can see uh, all of the things in motion and here is the card here is the plots here is the actual basis forecast budget so thanks to Minda and thanks to the uh, company which have open sourced the data set so we can see all the things clearly so we can click on it and see all the labels and all the fields we have worked on we can see all the things in real time so we have the scroll bar here we can see the things now i will move towards the view option and first i will click on the screen and in the view option there are a lot of themes available we can change the theme as well or if we don't want this theme to be available we can change the theme or the colors so we can see some interactive dashboards and we can add the grid lines or we can see the mobile layout as well so it is uh, basically uh, very beautiful 
and interactive so fit to width and I can fit to page as well and we can log the objects so let me move it here and you can see the change so uh, hope you have under got the proper understanding and you will work on it and produce some uh, graph for your final competition if you have any questions uh, then please leave it in the comments and I have a lot of uh, beautiful visuals uh, though can uh, though can I can add and share with you okay so I think uh, it's all for today let us meet in the next video and we will work on uh, the visuals more and we will understand uh, many of the things in our formatted visual so we can change uh, uh, the color we can change the formatting we can change the things uh, the purpose is the board should look beautiful okay so there is uh, something missing I think in the field yes everything is good everything is working properly if the card is showing less readings we can increase the size so it will show us the proper reading as well okay so that's all for today I hope to meet you in the next session let me save my file and we will discuss more of the things uh, in the next lecture the final uh, mega project thank you